Do you want to give yourself an introduction in case somebody doesn't know who Joe Motiki is, the man, the myth, the legend? <laughs> yeah, sure. That is all right. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph Motiki, but you can feel free to call me Joe. Uh, back in the day, as you're going to see from what some of the uh, folks are, are, are typing and relating on the side, I used to host a show here uh, in the province of Ontario called the TVO Kids Crawl Space, where we aired like Arthur and Magic School Bus and Art Attack and Bill Nye the Science Guy and a whole lot of other shows that uh, everybody loved. Did that for four years, which was great. Uh, a a lot of other people know me from uh, some of the animated shows that I've been lucky enough to voice over the years, uh, including Rescue Heroes, which a lot of people like. Uh, uh, but let's face it, you guys are probably all Metabots guys. So if you used Woo! to watch, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, you see, that's the that's what's going on. A little little Metabots all the way around. So if you were uh, somebody who grew up with uh, with Icky and, uh, and and watching him row battle, and he got his cheap little uh, 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 beetle type uh, Metabot, that was uh, Meta B, and that is me, Icky. Come on, we got a road battle. Iggy, let's go. Yeah. That is the... Right, see, now the, now the people know that. See, now, yeah, right. see, now over there, two minutes ago, they're like, who's this guy? Like, what is going on? Now, they hear Icky going and stuff like that. Now it's like, okay, now, right, now we're going to pay some attention. Now we're gonna, uh, I'm, just, I'm just playing around. I'm just messing around with stuff like that. So uh, that is it. And also done like a whole bunch of other shows as well, which is a lot of fun. And uh, I got to meet Sherry last year at uh, 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 Unplugged Expo. Yeah. And uh, she very kindly and sweetly came up to me in a very silent and quiet way. I was sitting there gibbering and jabbering to everybody and then she just started waiting her and then I just wanted to say I really like the show like what what did you what I just wanted to say I really like the show I'm just she was louder than that I'm just I'm just messing around with her stuff but she invited me today and uh, super excited uh, to be uh, raising some funds for the uh, hospital for sick kids which um, uh, services like tens of thousands of, uh, of children uh, not just from Ontario uh, Toronto or Ontario but also from around the country and even further because they know that the care that you get there is first rate they know that uh, uh, the people that they have there are top of the line so uh, anything we can do to uh, throw a little cash their way and to uh, 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 to any young kids out there that need medical attention is uh, is good. So uh, we'll play some games. I'm probably not going to play that much because now I'm in a talking mode. I keep looking over here. <laughs> Let me know if I keep, if I'm breaking the, yeah, that's right, Upsidon, Rob. That's exactly right. It is Metabots. And good for you yeah. for typing it right. Because a lot of people, they they go med with the D of bots, but then they think it's med a B. But uh, it's, it's Meta B. Because yeah. Meta B right. is short for uh, Metal Beetle. So, yeah, that's right. We'll drop a little science. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is it. Real quick, can we grab a photo, guys? I'm gonna yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay. There we hey. go. I'm just going to share this on Facebook. Let people know you're here. That's it. No, thanks very much. So that's the difference. So it's okay to look over. Can I, I'm just I looking know, over and I see. I not look at yourself. Well, no, I'm reading what everybody oh, is, uh, is putting. So it's okay to just to keep on uh, yeah, shouting absolutely. everybody out. Warwolf just figured it out. That's where I recognize you from. That is the... But now I gotta look to see like what he, what exactly he recognized me from. Whatever you recognize me from, it's all right. It's me, and I'm in the heezy, and that that's what counts. And the fact that Sherry's throwing up signs, I love this year. I can see her perfectly, and she's throwing up her and doing her what? So it's like she's gonna keep on busting that out, and it's gonna be good to go. So super, uh, super fun. That is uh, that is good stuff. Off seeing meta parts. So, yeah. so we brought in uh, a game that actually Sherry owns. Oh, nice! Yeah. That is Metabots on the Game Boy Advance. So we thought maybe we could uh, try playing it. Maybe yeah. You might want yeah, yeah, yeah. Provide commentary and just share some fun facts yeah. as we play along. Oh, that is totally cool. Amazing. All right, all right, that is wicked. So all just, right, there's some Milodon. And hey, if anybody uh, wants to correct me, because if I make a mistake, you can feel free to say no, Joe. That's not. That's not what happened in episode 12. <laughs> that is all right. But I look, Metabots, I have to say, is like one of my, uh, out of all the, the animated shows that I've done, it's, it's still easily like one of my, my favorites. Like probably the, and Meta B was my favorite character. I mean, I was pretty fortunate. I was able to uh, uh, get to ad lib every now and again and sort yeah. of throw some stuff in. Well, so. it helps that he doesn't have like a proper mouse too, right? Oh, yeah. Well, that yeah. is the, I don't know if I told you the story. So when we were doing Metabots uh, originally, so of course it was in the, the Japanese and then it comes to Canada and then we, right. uh, we dubbed it. So when you're dubbing, um, one of the important things is that you've got all of the new dialogue that gets done for the characters and then you've got to sync with the, the characters and with the action that's going on. So a lot of the other characters and a lot of the other uh, actors on the show, it's a, it can be a grueling process because of course when, you know, if, 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 if Icky is saying something and you know, and then you've got to sort of dub in the, the English, 
and it's got to match with the mouth. And that could be a, a painstaking. So it's like, come on, let's go. That won't work because it's like, oh, sorry, we got to go again. It's like, come on, let's go. All right, that was closer. All right, let's try it again. Mm. Come on, let's go. Perfect. Okay, we're on to the next one. So those could take, it could take a couple of hours to dub uh, the, um, uh, for a voice actor to dub those characters. And it's like that for any show that you dub. As Sherry has so expertly noted, Meta B doesn't have a mouth. So for me, I was in and out sometimes in like 10 minutes. It was like, because all I had to do was fit it into a certain size. You get the, Iggy, come on, we got a road battle. Great, next one. Iggy, you don't boss me around. Great, next one. Iggy! Next one. That is, so it was so much fun to do because for me, it was just less intense and it, was, it wasn't as tough a time yeah. as it was for everybody That's else. Which dream. It's dream. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a... Uh, you know, so I was in and out of there fast. If there's a time in the day when they knew that, okay, we got to catch up on time, that's when they bring me in because I just get to knock those out. Yeah. Oddly enough, uh, the next anime I did after that was uh, Spider Riders. Oh, yeah. So uh, I did Spider Riders and... Oh, you did Spider Riders? I did Spider Riders. <laughs> so I was uh, I was Battle, Battle Spider Shadow. So there's Hunter Steel, who was the hero of the show, and then his spider was uh, Shadow, and I played Shadow. Again, no mouth. So I, get to, <laughs> so I get to go in. I get to knock off a bunch of lies. I'd be like, Earthen, you must go. Great. Next one. Hunter, you are not the boss of me. Great. Next one. Hunter. Great. Next one. So no mouth is like the best. It's the best. Okay. Now, I've never seen this. Like, I've never seen the game, which is, this. so this is really exciting. So there's Icky. <laughs> With that dope ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> which doesn't hang. It defies gravity, his ponytail, so it hangs out the back of his head, which is always great. So, Shay, so what is the what is the purpose of Metabot? What is the what is the goal in this game? I see he's walking around a lab right now. Yeah, so um, I actually picked up this game and I'm so busy that I actually haven't really played it. So I thought it'd be really fun <laughs> to just kinda go on this journey together. Oh, all right. So okay. Well gonna... he just met Dr. Aki. Yeah. So Dr. Aki is like was the father of the Metabots. We found out about Dr. Aki in season two of the show. Um, which was like Who's this nerd? And then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, look to me. He was like, Who's Doctor Aki? Because after the first season, uh, and look, this happens with I think a lot of uh, a lot of animes, a lot of programs, where the first season, you know, you you sort of get characters established, you sort of find things out, and then the second season, I don't know what they're in Japan. It's like, okay, we're gonna go an entirely different direction. We're gonna introduce mm -hmm. new characters. We're gonna wipe out other characters entirely. Oh, yeah. So all of a sudden, the second season, like the first season, was just you know icky, row battling, getting to know Meta B, okay. uh, going up against um, uh, all of his uh, his, his buddies. Uh, thanks very much, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, going up against all of his buddies that he sort of uh, uh, in the neighborhood, and it was sort of this. You know, I mean, it was just a, a sort of a quiet, innocent thing. He's supposed to be the best role battle that he can be. And then he finds out he's getting points. I'm like, all right, great. Second season, it's I've just met Dr. Aki, and Dr. Aki is the father of the Metabots. And then he meets um, uh, uh, like a whole new set of friends, the red-haired girl. Oh, I can't, Karen. I think it's Karen. I think Karen was the red-haired girl, who was Dr. Aki's... Uh, was she the one that had the nurse Metabot? Yes. Yeah, I yeah. always oh, really yeah. liked her. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Very, like, you know, and of course, Icky had a big uh, crush on her and stuff. Yeah. And so, um, but th then the whole, it just became an entirely different. This was before the aliens came in, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aliens. <laughs> aliens is when I myself started losing track of what the yeah. show was about, yeah. uh, which was weird because I was, I think, about. Season three, yeah. that was the third and final season. There were aliens, <laughs> the Killabots. I think Killabots were now uh, coming down. Right. And also, Icky, or sorry, because all of the the human characters, like Icky, uh, Karen, Dr. Aki, um, in the later seasons, they carried a lot of the, the dialogue and the plot. So really, by that third season, when there was like aliens and everything, all Medibi did was fight right. at that point. Yeah. So I was going in, and it was like a... Like two minutes, it was just yells and screams, right? Like, but after you know, before because it was all about you know him getting to know Icky and getting a personality. By the third season, just ah, and just a lot of like um, we call it in the industry um, uh, um, all the reaction shots, so impact sounds. So you know, because he gets blown, so you're literally in there like ah, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Icky, ah, <laughs> uh, like that, that seems very. 
these games are so sophisticated that they have actually programmed inattentive help <laughs> <laughs> at the store. That is so. <laughs> that is. It's getting kind of ridiculous by that time. Yeah. I was like, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna get some crappy service. Yeah. Like, hey, do you have the new KBT? No, no, we don't. Why don't you move along, ponytail boy? Art imitating life. Mm. Uh, when when you'd go into the studio, how many? Like, did you do batches of episodes, or was it usually like you'd come in and do? Nope, come in. We'd always do uh, an episode per. Okay. So yeah. um, wow. so you go in. So yeah. So we would do. Uh, the first season, I remember, we did, I think it was 26 episodes that we dubbed. Yeah. And you just go in and you uh, knock out one episode. So you get yeah. your script. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about actual uh, going into the studio, but you'll they'll send you, they would email you your script beforehand so you could read yeah. it. You can just sort of practice, get an idea of what you wanted to do. You go in, they've got a, um, a script printed out for you. So you'll go in, you'll get your highlighter and highlight your lines. Some shows, um, if you're doing an ensemble, then you will record with other actors um, which can be really helpful sometimes because you can work off of what yeah. other people are doing, get an idea of how they're reading something, so on and so forth. When you're dubbing, they don't necessarily have a need for that because they're so busy sort of getting the technical points down. So you just go in there by yourself and uh, and you record. So yeah, you would get the script and you just do that script and then that's it. If they see, it was funny when Pokemon came out. Pokemon and Metabots came out at around the same time. I want to see Pokemon got released maybe a little bit earlier. It did, yeah. So I, I remember that when Nelvana got the rights for Metabots, like I know that they were thinking, "Oh my gosh, like we, are, like it's it's gonna blow up. It's gonna be yeah. like Pokemon. Yeah. It was gonna be." Yeah. And I, I think like, Metabots has always had a, a cult following. Yes. Uh, obviously, I'm biased, so of course I think <laughs> I think Metabots is better than Pokemon. I mean, like yo, but it, but it it didn't it, it blew up so like in a different way. Yes. Um, because Pokemon just became like the thing, and but Metabots just always had this. It was like a niche thing. Yeah. A super yeah. niche thing. Yeah. Which, I mean, now, I mean, that was 16 years ago that we recorded it. And even now, like on my uh, uh, on my website, my Facebook page, like, I, you know, it's always a consistent thing about Metabots, and about, which is a which is a real testament to the, the show and people liking it and loving yeah. it and stuff. And uh, performance it's, on the show, I would say. You know what? Yeah. It, it, people's reaction to the performance has always been really kind. Like, I... I know it was the. I, I'm glad people like the character. I, yeah. I mean, I, and I'm glad I was able to bring something to it. I mean, I think he would have been cool regardless. Just because I mean, look, everyone, he's a little rebel, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't like authority. He just wants to be his own yeah. guy. Everybody can identify yeah. with that. Yeah. And uh, he's the underdog the whole time. Yeah, like absolutely. he's made of the scrap parts. And he, the, he's yeah. made of junk. I mean, that's a, the running joke. The first few, especially with uh, Henry, uh, who runs the store. Who we spoiler alert find out is uh, Phantom Renegade. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I know. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> look, if, you, if you're 16 years behind, then you know what? Like, shame on you. <laughs> that is the. But we find it's Phantom Renegade, and then we find out Space Meta Fighter X. Right. Right, because he. Because right. he didn't have enough masks. It's yeah. like yo, you've already got yeah. your 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 Phantom. What, you need another mask. All right, fair yeah. enough. Space Meta Fighter X, which I've got to say, I was always very. Uh, not jealous, but he has got, he has my favorite line in the entire series. So, Meta B gets to say all kinds of cool things and stuff. Yeah. But when he would, uh, whenever he would roll battle, uh, Space Meta Fire X, uh, this was his line when he would, uh, when he fires up his, I say finishing move. Cause that's a wrestling term, <laughs> but like the same yeah. way that like, you know, like, yeah. like the metaphors was, uh, totally. Meta B's finish. And so Prepare yourself for the power of the midnight sun, the pillar of fire, the prominence. Ooh. And I'm like, oh, man, yeah. like, where is mine? That's a uh, <laughs> uh, hook me up. But then the way the guy's standing up, prepare yourself for the fire of the midnight sun, the pillar of fire, the prominence. And I'm like, yeah. The, oh, if I start stripping, that's going to be my stripper name, the prominence. prominence. That is going to be the, it's a great name. It's just, I'm gonna, I've been really touched with the fact that like people like the way I played them and like the things that I yeah. did with them and stuff. So, so that was really great. I'm glad you guys have liked the show and loved the show over the years and everything. It's a, like, look, I, I wish that because now when Pokemon when they had the Pokemon Go, yeah, and yeah. I remember <laughs> Metabots Go. Well, well know. you know, it just seemed to make like yeah. so much sense. Like to go like uh, go row battling to go like find Metabots. Oh, to, yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I, you know, I wish that there was somebody who was still actually. I guess at the helm of the Metabots franchise, right. yeah. Yeah. who would be like, hey, listen, this could, 
and could would be a perfect fit. I mean, I'm sure people can stand for like a lot of different shows, but yeah. man, Pokemon, Pokemon Go is just about like finding them. Well, yeah. and I feel totally. like you know it. It's been that amount of time that we're we're getting into the '90s nostalgia era. Right. So once we get, once we give it a couple years, and the late '90s stuff is going to be back in vogue. Yeah. Right. And I feel like Metabots is one of those shows that's going to have a comeback, the way that things like Sailor Moon is having now. Yeah. I know that the the, the actors on Sailor Moon because they go to all of the. Um, what are you laughing at, Sherry? Uh, it was just. I, I was like, I want to go to the store. And he's like, this isn't my house. <laughs> I was just like, it, might, it could be. That's, gee, that's great. So this is a show, this, this, this is a video game about a boy who's lost. Like, this, this, yeah. one, this is what it is. Is there it's a block there? Can't I get know. any customer service from anyone. I know. Can I use your phone? Can I use a phone to it's call my, my mom? It's like, no. Oh, he's home. All right. Icky made it there home. It is. All right. But you know what? There are a lot of good. What's the 16 theme song? It's like, I'm 16, starting the Right? Got a new job, gonna start the mall today. Thank God I'm home for the first time. That's right. You see? Like, look, there's a lot of animated shows where, like, the theme song, some of them have, like, better theme songs than others. And it's amazing how important a theme song can be. Like the, Like that one. after school. See, he, look, I know. You see his toe tapping, finger snapping. Like it is, it gets crazy. The um, I remember Spider Riders. I love like they had a great down 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 down. And like the internet. So it's always been this internet thing where everybody thought that because there's a rap, um, the Spider Riders theme song. It's a, it's a rap, and uh, so the internet rumor was always that it was Drake. That Drake, <laughs> that Drake rapped it, and I'm telling people like, no, like it wasn't, it wasn't Drake, like it wasn't, like come on. My mom thought it was me. My mom heard it the first time when she watched it. Joey, were you rapping the themes? No, mom, it wasn't me. I didn't. I just doing Shadow. That was it. But I go online and I've even replied to people. I'm like, no, it wasn't Drake, guys. Like it wasn't. Like just trust me. Like it wasn't. And not that he, because I mean, even then he was at his his time on Degrassi. He wasn't. I mean, he was writing, but he wasn't like, he wasn't. He hadn't blown up yet, yeah. for sure. So I mean, it's, it is feasible that maybe he would have, but but he didn't. And I don't know why. I was like, oh no, I, no man, I, I'm sure it is. It's like, well, look, pal, I'm in the industry and you're not. All right, <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll have an inside track on whether or not it was Drake or not, and it wasn't. So the end. But people love that theme song. Like it was yeah. crazy. Metabots theme song was fun. I'm thinking about some of the shows when I was growing up. Like it was because a lot of songs. Like there's some real production in the yeah. in the theme. Like they, you know, they went out and got like real bands, and they're doing like real things. So I there's some good stuff. Um, really liked the Gem and the Holograms theme. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it always just got me like pumped. It's truly outrageous. <laughs> truly, truly, truly outrageous. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mr. Tendry was always like a little bit on the uh, on the loopy side. Yeah. And the way they wrote them was, uh, or maybe rewrote them, I should say. Cause I'm sure they didn't when they dubbed the Japanese into English, they, everything wasn't verbatim. Yeah. Yeah. They would have taken some liberties to make some jokes and totally. figure some things out and everything. So I feel like in the English dubs, um, during that time, there were so many puns. Mm. Like, they oh, just put yeah. in as many puns as they could. Yeah. Like, no matter the show. Yeah. Oh, no. It was... Digimon, it was, too. Digimon was... Digimon's, I think, was, like, the worst culprit for that. Yeah. Like, there was just The so worst many culprit liberties. or the best? <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's if you like puns, if you're puntastic, then that is it. Well, you know, and also, like, the dialogue is so wall-to-wall. -wall. Like, there's not a whole lot of nuance in these shows. So, it's, you know, yeah. dialogue, 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 dialogue. There's no... Nothing settles. Nothing... Yeah. Except for maybe, like, a couple of scenes... Where like maybe Icky and Meta B were uh, maybe having oh. a moment or something was happening. Oh, is he? Here we go. I'm pretty sure this is Rakusho, though. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, <I'm the> <laughs> Rakusho. No, everyone. Rakusho was like super. I love Rakusho. Yeah, no. I, he... To be honest, I like them all. Phoenix is one of my favorites. Like the one that that um the the punk had. Oh right, yeah. right, 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 right. And I also really like Pepper Cat. Pepper Cat, oh, yeah. yeah. Girls always like, yeah. Pepper Cat was uh, was super. I had a neighbor who really liked Pepper Cat. She always said if we did another season because she wanted to get into the industry, and she's like, yeah. I want to be Pepper Cat. And I'm like, yeah, I, don't, I can't fire the actress. Yeah. <laughs> who played who played Pepper like, Cat? That's nice, but <laughs> she had like that's like, well, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, you can come and watch a record or something like that, but no, Pepper Cat is like uh, good to go. No, Rakusho. I remember originally. If I'm remembering properly from the scripts, that the uh, they were gonna name Rakusho Rock Show. 
Hmm. I remember from the early scripts they were gonna. Yeah, Rakusho was gonna be called Rock Show. They were. I remember and seeing like the script reference to Blink One Eighty Two. I'm assuming. Uh, no, yeah, I'm kidding. Well, 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 <laughs> look, we've really got to appeal to like that young audience and stuff right? like that. So if we call this character Rock Show, then I think the you know Blink fans are the really br- gonna. It's like, <laughs> I, I, you know what? That would which would be crazy because Rakusho is so Zen. And so, like, calm that to call him Rock Show would be yeah. uh, bizarre. But I remember seeing scripts. I remember they, he was being referred to as Rock Show. Wow. That never made it to the final, which Good. makes sense. But <laughs> like, it's like, I would have been a little yeah, bit on the weird side. That is it. How are they doing online here? People, all right. Now we're getting some, <laughs> some scrapping. Now there's some Ooh. robotly going on. That oh, is man, it. Man, done. So that's Rakusho. Rakusho oh. and Peppercat. So, um, Obsidian Rob asks, Joe, what are you doing now? If you don't mind sharing, what's happening? What's the latest with you? Yeah, no, been doing, uh, so this season, we just, uh, we just wrapped the first season of, um, Hotel Transylvania, uh, the series. What? So it's based on the, uh, uh, the movies. Um, so you've already had two. There's a third film that's coming out, I believe, January of 2018. So the, uh, animated series is actually taking place before the events of the, of the first, uh, movie. So all the mm. characters are, uh, are, are younger. So, um, so I'm playing uh, a version of the mummy character. So his name is Pedro. And, uh, <laughs> and he's hanging out uh, with uh, Frankenstein's son and, um, and uh, Wendy, the blob. She is like the uh, little one. And um, uh, Brim McCauley is playing Dracula's uh, daughter in it. Uh, Selena Gomez uh, played her in the movies. Uh, but Brim is uh, awesome on the show. So, um, so we just did the first season. Uh, we're just doing pickups. Uh, which means we're going back and just getting some extra lines here or there that they're putting into the show. And um, it uh, already debuted uh, in the States on Disney and is airing Saturday and Sunday mornings on Teletoon here in Canada. So uh, cool. the show looks good, so if you get a chance, you can check it out. Awesome. And, uh, and currently doing a, a new animated show for, uh, for Netflix. Mm. Um, so it's a uh, preschool show, and um, uh, we're just knocking out 13 episodes right now. Those will air uh, next year. Animation takes about a year to do because it's original animation. So um, uh, those will probably start airing probably at least in the summer of uh, 2018 on uh, Netflix. It's called uh, Color Forms. So there used to be a toy way back in the day. So it was like a sticker book. And they would have like different landscapes. And then you would, you know, kids would just stick the stickers onto the and just, you know, creatively play or whatever. Right. I remember sticker books. I don't remember them being called Color Forms. But apparently it was... Color Forms the ones that you could re-stick? Yes. You could pull the sticker on and off. I actually had one and it was like a big book. It would fold like three ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it would open up and it was actually a zoo and I could rearrange uh, all the animals. So if I wanted to put the animals in with the crowd, I could. If I want to put them away, I could. That was it. That was Color Forms. So they are doing a series based on those sticker books. (laughs) So, you know, and it's like, it's, it's a little That's kid. That's really wild, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it is. Uh, there's a little kid, Charlie, and just every episode, he just, like those sticker books, creates a new adventure with uh, these characters. That's really cute. Yeah, so it's, uh, so it's a lot of fun. So I'm playing a couple of the characters on the show. They're, uh, they're called Silly Faces. So there's like an athletic, an athletic silly face, and there's a clumsy silly face, and um, uh, uh, and we're doing those uh, downtown, not far from here actually, in uh, in Toronto. So that'll be 2018. So uh, so doing that, which is great, and um, and also been doing a uh, recurring guest spot on uh, Odd Squad. It is oh, a wow. yeah, it's um, so it is a show. It's kind of funny because it airs in the TVO Kids block uh, here in Ontario. It also airs on PBS in the states. And it's, you know, it's a secret society. Or I shouldn't say secret. Everybody knows about the, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of kids and their agents who, uh, who fight odd, uh, odd things happening uh, in their town. So I get to play this recurring villain named uh, Mr. Lightning. And uh, he's got a big afro and he can shoot lightning out of his hands <laughs> and everything like that. So I uh, did a couple of episodes already. Um, the new season is going to be starting. Uh, it's going to start airing in a couple of uh, months. Uh, or even weeks, actually. And uh, Mr. Lightning's coming back for uh, four of the episodes. So uh, uh, those were a lot of fun to do. It's, uh, I mean, it's a cool. first-rate production. So it's been super cool. And, of course, still love hosting. So uh, been doing a, a Facebook Live show for uh, CBC um, wow. in support of um, their show, Canada's Smartest Person. So we've been doing uh, a Facebook Live show uh, called CSP Live. Uh, we did it last year uh, for the production. We thought we'd be in production already. But um, uh, the new season hasn't started. I know that uh, uh, their host, she's 
on the goods, and she's uh, I think she's preggers. <laughs> so so uh, I, I think they might be waiting until maybe <laughs> right yeah. after the delivery something like that yeah. to do because if she's already doing once or so it's a so we'll probably um, uh, hopefully do another season uh, next year. So uh, so yeah, I've been keeping busy. Staying out of trouble, as awesome. we uh, say in the biz. I mean, look, I've been pretty fortunate. I mean, you know, I've been working now uh, 23 years. Right. And wow. always kept going. And, you know, that's because of you guys liking what I do. And, you know, enough stuff happening here that we can get it done. So it's, uh, it's just been good. So keep them busy. Staying on the straight and narrow, which is great. Uh, which I've got to say, that was the one time. Like, Unplugged Expo was, I mean, that was a very weird thing. Because doing TVO Kids, we did autograph signings, like, all the time. Yeah. And so, and I don't know, because... You've been to those cons. You guys have yeah. been to them and stuff. There, yeah. The the concept of, of of paying for autographs is a like I know it's a thing, and I know it's and I, I look I I hear the stories, and there's a lot of people that go and they charge, and that's fine. But it's also it, it, I, I don't know. There's a weird. I, I just find it weird. I'm not saying it's wrong, but for yeah. me, it's just it's just a weird thing to it and stuff, right? So it is a because when you see maybe somebody that you you like or that you love and if you saw them on the street they wouldn't make you pay hmm. but now you're you know in a con and it's just yeah, a right. look i could be talking on my butt here and stuff it's, just, it's very weird i just I, that was one thing i found yeah. very yeah. weird about unplug and I, yeah. I get it and i know everyone's happy to pay for stuff but yeah so that's why i mean even last year i said okay i'm gonna make this like a whole draw for like shirts and stuff right that so was at least really just a, that was sweet yeah. well you know what like just just to have a little but then i still had like my little postcard so at least okay somebody wants an autograph i'll yeah, sign yeah, those yeah. be free or whatever that's it but it was a, it, so it's, it's just a crazy, it was different. That was very, very different. So, um, now it's probably a bunch of actors that go to those things and now they're all crying at home <laughs> now watching this and they're like, well, <laughs> why I, are you going to this? I mean, I've had an experience with someone where, um, like, uh, it was their first convention and they wanted to meet a specific person and we went up to them and whoever was sitting with them wouldn't even let my friend talk to them until they saw the wallet come out and it kind of mm. crushed her you know That's and i tough. was and i was just like i understand if you wanted merch or a signature right but like not even look like didn't even look over at us it was quite quite sad yeah. um but i i also kind of understand in the sense that uh some people like that's their job like you know like when they're not doing something like their, the rest of the paycheck comes from conventions. Right, Still yeah. The yeah. Circuit. Yeah. And, and look, I, and yeah. I, I know it's become a circuit and there are people that go and, and that's part of it. Yeah. Like, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. No. Like, but yeah. I mean, the sad thing about that is, I mean, look, when they say, like, you know, don't meet your heroes, right? Because yeah. something like that, like, that is a, that's, like, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, look, one of the, the really great things about sort of, I guess I'll call it, like, convention culture because it's really blown up over the last yeah, like yeah absolutely and is that you know if someone's going like the only people that are going to be are like hardcores nobody is spending money to get into a building to go in there just to goof off like just to check it out if they're going they're going because they really want to see something or they yeah. really want to be a around whatever that might be yeah. and if you get a chance to look, I think every, look everybody look every, people are people and a lot of actors and performers they're just people. So they, yeah. you know, and they might have a good day one day, they have a bad day another day. So you never know. You never know what, what side of the bed they're going to wake up on that morning. But I think you have, you have a responsibility if somebody is coming to, and they've waited in a line. I mean, Unplugged Expo is pretty pretty casual in it terms of like really people casual, coming to. Yeah. But I know like, like Fan Expo, you know, it's a huge line. So people yeah. are in a queue and they're waiting. And now this is their moment. And for you to do something like that, is is pretty hack and i'm gonna guess and it's very classy of you to not say their name but i'm gonna well, guess they're I doing mean, all right like i'm gonna yeah. guess whoever that was is like <laughs> is doing all right and is, is i got a probably got a pretty good career uh i mean i heard horror stories about when well, i see i i don't want to be as classy as you i want to say the name <laughs> <laughs> but we'll say like an I, actor well, I, mean, I just don't want someone else to have like the a same sort of situation and, and like maybe they had a completely different right yeah and they're gonna be oh good know? to me or whatever yeah. but i mean like i've heard of things like uh this one performer last year and this is a guy's been around like 30 years super famous you know he's bank accounts full and mm -hmm. apparently he wouldn't take his cap off for photos 
because I guess you pay uh, you pay forty bucks or whatever to get the photo. And so for forty dollars to take his hat off. No, he. This is the thing. Uh-oh. For forty dollars, you come and you, hey, you take the photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he wouldn't take his photo, fo- his cap off. Wow. And people were saying, hey, would you take your cap off? No, oh. like I won't take the cap off. And oh. it's like, it, was he worried about maybe people taking candids? Well, what would what would a can? Oh, you mean like people just sort like of from walking afar, around? Being uh, like, ah. Well, yeah. guess what? Then they got a candid. Like, yeah. look, this is the yeah. look. I mean, look, you're look, a human being out in the world. Yeah, like I mean, right. it's, look, I, and I understand there can be a privacy thing or whatever. But yeah. look, you're you're if you're at an event, that's gonna it, even if you find it a little creepy or a little weird. Look, I go to Blue Jays games. Uh, I get a flex pack every year, so I go to the Blue Jays games. And look, the one nice thing I have to say about being a host is that people always feel comfortable coming up and saying hello. Like I think it's sort of the main difference between a host and being an actor. Because yeah. an actor, you don't know an actor. An actor is just like, I. it could be a nice person, it could be a bad person, like, I got sure, no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, uh, I've been fortunate enough that because, because of hosting, people, hey, it's Joe. So they're able to, hey, what's going on, man? And it's, right, you know, because right, so right. they know me already. If you yeah. if you grew up watching TVO Kids, like, you know me. You already know who I am. It's So it's 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 an easy mm. transition or whatever. And, but sometimes you'll see somebody like, and people come up and say what's up and get a picture and autograph. But sometimes, you know, you see somebody like from 10 rows over and they got their phone and they're, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I'm, hey, I can see you. Yeah. Hey, come here. Come here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, yeah, it's, like, it's all right. Then you come here. You don't have to be like creepster yeah. with like your phone or whatever, right? Yeah. So, and look, but that's out in public. Like, I get it. Like, I mean, they're not taking a picture of me because they don't like me. I mean, obviously, I've right. done something that they like, so that's that's okay. Even that is like a compliment. But I mean, if you're going to be worried about candidates and you're at an event, it's like, well, the whole point was they get a nice picture with you up close for 40 bucks. Yeah. So yeah. if they've got you and you're this big in the picture yeah. from like 50 feet, well, you know what? Then that's their memory. So yeah. suck it up. So that's, I mean, it's a. Fair. But then, but then, but then, don't be like that with like somebody's paid and they really and maybe they like they look. Like they obviously like you a lot. You they know? they there's obviously, and isn't that why you got into it? I mean, I know there's commerce to yeah. any industry, mm-hmm. but broadcasting, television, movies, it it's a, it's a different type of medium. The way that. The art that you put out, that people get to watch, uh, you don't know how that's affecting somebody. You don't know how, and you know, look, I, I've had been lucky enough to get great responses about some of the shows that uh, that I've done, and you don't realize like maybe how much somebody likes it or loves it or how dear it is to them or whatever until they come up to you somewhere and they say, "Listen, I just wanted to say this. It got me through a, a, a tough time in my life, or you know, it was the best thing about my after school, or you know, weekends at my grandmother's was not a weekend at my grandmother's without you and your show." So you know, it, it, there's, there's a responsibility to it that's inherent in what you in what you do. I don't want to sound too about it, so, but it's a but it's you know that's a legit thing. So. You got to understand that, you know, when people, it might be the, I always said this doing TVO kids, because my friends are like, man, doesn't it buggy you when know, people come up to you or whatever, and you're out there. It's like, look, this might be the 10,000th time that I've signed an autograph, but for that person, it's their first. Yeah. So yeah. even though you've done it like a million times, for them, this is like, so you don't know if, like, this is, so you better be fresh, all right? Yeah. You better, you better come to it like with fresh eyes and with fresh and just yeah. like, because it's, you know, don't. Don't be a jabroni about it. Yeah. So take your cap off is what I'm saying. <laughs> if somebody wants to take your photo and they think you're handsome enough or pretty enough to take a photo, just take yeah. your cap off, all right? That's all I'm saying. I'm Travis saying. wants to know, where do you think Metabi would be now in 2017? <laughs> and what might he be doing? You know what? Metabi, like, look, he would need new parts. So he would have had to have got some uh, new meta parts. Um, uh, in terms of what he'd be doing, I think he would be like the 40-year-old football player who thinks they have one more season in them, but they don't. All right? Meta B would still be kicking, Iggy, come on. You know I can still row battle. Just let me take on the 2017 World Row Battle Champion. I can do it. And Icky, who'd now be like 30, would be like, look, you've given me all you got, but you don't have it anymore. You are you look pretty busted. You're pretty beat. <laughs> you can't do it. And it, Icky, Icky would be, better be would be at the, <laughs> would be at those conventions going, come on, why does anybody want to come and get my autograph? I still got it, like, oh, I still got so it. Sad. And everybody wants it's to go. full circle. I know, and then, I know, he's a, what, you're a KBT type? Get out of here. Oh. I went to news, Jiu Jitsu, XJ2000, and like, 
So that, no, he'd have enough pride not to go, but... <laughs> He could have a, a good Creed moment, like where he's training. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. Oh, that Rakusho's yes. son or something. Uh, 100%. That's exactly right. Beautiful. I know. Rakusho would be Unk, and he'd help him out one more time, and then he, which is great. Creed was dope. So, yeah, that's what Meta B would, would still think he's got one more battle in him, and I think that would be the story. It'd be about his, he has one real battle left in him, and he's going to try to make it his best. But he'd be creaky, because he was old to begin with. Uh, would or will there ever be a reboot? We kind of talked about it. There's no yeah. current. Yeah, and there's no you might know. yeah, no plans or anything like that. Nothing I've ever heard about. I mean, there's so much new stuff that's out. And I mean, this is the thing about animation, right? Because I mean, you know, it's that stuff was made in like 2000 in Japan. Uh, so I don't think anybody's. It's rare for anyone to really look back and say, "Hey, let's fire this up," unless mm -hmm. it was a, you know, it's like something like Power Rangers, where they say, right. "Let's make a movie about it" or whatever, right? Yeah. And, and they. They still do make games in Japan. It's just mm. been a while since some of them have come over. Right. So you never know when one of those might right. get localized. And yeah, I mean, sure. I think in terms, it's a, it's still popping yeah. in Japan. Like I know it's still a thing, and people are still fired up about it and stuff, which is great. But you're right. Like it hasn't, it hasn't made its way across the ocean, so it hasn't yeah. come here and there. Like the, I mean, look, I always thought it'd be fun to, especially when um, Transformers. Uh, when they made the Transformers movies, and I'm not saying Metabots is on the level of Transformers, but just that the the animation is in the technology, you could make a, a Metabots like a live action Metabots pretty cheap. Like it wouldn't yeah. cost much. Like I mean, when they they made a really cheap Knight Rider reboot a couple of years ago, <laughs> and apparently now the new kit could actually like. Uh, transform and it's right. like, and you're doing that like on a TV budget, right? And it was like, you know, so uh, you could have made like a little Metabots and have like Rakusho and Similadon and Meta B and they're hanging out and doing their things. You could do that on the cheap. So I mean, it's yeah. I'm surprised if somebody and with the the, the the following that it does have, I mean, you could do that for the cheap and make a profit. So even if you didn't want me to voice it again, I mean, you know, if you could afford Chris Rock, and you want to get Chris Rock, you can get Chris Rock <laughs> to go and do it or whoever. But like, it is a, I'm surprised that they haven't. There's, there's, there's still like a gem of something there. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see. Um, I think that's about all from the Twitch questions, the questions we had ahead of time. Nice. Yeah. I mean, we can cap things here if that's okay with you. Yeah. No, no, no. That's totally yeah. cool. And listen, if you ever have any questions, like I'm pretty... I'm a pretty easy guy to find, so you can yeah, you can find me on my uh, Facebook page. It's just my name, Joseph Motiki. Uh, I'm pretty good at replying to everybody, and uh, my Twitter uh, account is the same at Joseph Motiki. So uh, if you guys ever have any questions, anything you ever want to know, by all means, uh, let me know. If you ever want to know uh, if they ever if they ever, if Meta B ever gets the road battle in this, <laughs> in this thing, if, if they ever find the store, then that is it. And remember again, donations. Donations today for hospital for sick kids, and uh, I'm gonna put mine in. This is uh, so fifty dollars. Uh, I'm putting no mine way. in stuff like that. Woo. So uh, make sure you put in yours. I'm gonna put it right there uh, to inspire you. In fact, maybe I'll even stand it up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's the thing. So you can just uh, like that, and then I'll eventually take it out and stuff. But guys, thanks very much for having me. Yeah, this was yeah, uh, no, no, no. This is totally Amazing. awesome. This is a good time. Incredible. Like thank so, you so much. For no, no, no. Out. That's yeah, all right. Thank you. Thanks very much for the invite there. Like that. That is uh, yeah. that's all right. No, no, no. Yeah. That is it. So uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Put your donations in, and uh, all the best. All right. Go roll battle! Woo! Iggy! Gotta take yeah. care of things! That's what's up! All the best, guys. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no.